Hi everybody, welcome to this free video by Exorcist. Today we are going to see six shortcuts that you may not know in IDA Pro. So let's get started. Number one, run script snippet from anywhere. Press Shift Ctrl X. Did you know that it's possible to execute snippets from anywhere? For example, let's say you want to write a very fast snippet, for example, import IDA API. Then patch byte here, and for example, with an op. And finally, I want to assemble, so make instruction. I will say from here as well. So for example, if I click on this ink and press run, it's overwritten, of course, and we get an op. So do you know that if you press Control Shift X, you are going to bind it to this snippet. For example, I'm right here, Control Shift X. And as you can see, automatically your snippet is executed. Number two, list of patches, Control Alt P. So this one is directly linked to the first tip. If you press Control Alt P, you can have a list of the patches that you just made which is very handy. You can go there. You can restore, edit patch program and apply patches to the input file. You can actually even save them to the file. Number three, find where register was previously read from, out up. So now you are in a situation when you have a register and you want to find the last place where this register was read from. You click on it, you press Alt up, and you can see right here we see add ESI EEX. Number four, find when a register was previously written to. Shift Alt up. So now you're in a situation where you have one register and you want to see not when the register was read from the last time, but when it was defined, overwritten. So now you click on the register and press Shift Alt Up. And as you can see now, we are going on this instruction. Number five, keep the address selector opened. Shift Enter. When you are inside of IDA and you want to use the address selector, for example, first of all, click Control P and you want to select a function to jump to. So if I press enter, I'm going to close that selector. But if you press Control P and then you press Shift, you keep it pressed and press enter, you can now use this as a fast function selector, as you can see. It works also with cross-references For example, here, Control X, if I go here, keep Shift pressed, I can jump between cross-references, which is very handy. Number six, jumping to the next or previous function, Control plus Shift plus up or down. So imagine that you are in a function and you want to jump to the next one or to the previous one. To jump to the previous one, you can press, first of all, you click on the disassembly, then you press Control shift up If you do it again, you can go backwards. And if you want to jump to the next function, exactly the same, Control shift down As you can see, you can change different functions. Thank you very much. I hope you liked it. Check the video description and... Don't forget to subscribe. Also, next week we are going to have another video, so stay tuned.